What do cars, stethoscopes, eyeglasses, and airplanes have in common? Nickel and copper. Nickel and copper are natural minerals that come from deep inside the earth. In fact, everything around us is made from raw materials that come from the earth. Here at Eagle Mind, it is our job to safely remove minerals like nickel and copper from the ground. First, we have to find them, mine them, and finally process them. Sounds pretty simple, right? The process of getting these minerals out of the ground is much more challenging than that. And without mining, we wouldn't have the many things we rely on every day. But before we get into how we remove nickel and copper from the ground, let's start at the beginning. One billion years ago, magma came up through the Earth's crust, cooled and formed the present-day Eagle Nickel and Copper Ore Deposit. While most understand the importance of nickel and copper, what many don't realize is that locating them can be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Finding the Eagle deposit required a lot of flying, drilling, testing, and most importantly, patience. The first step is to send up an aircraft equipped with special instruments to detect irregularities in the Earth's crust. We call these irregularities anomalies. Anomalies may not always be minerals, Sometimes, while looking for minerals, we discover things such as a buried pipe, steel buildings, and, every once in a while, an antique tractor. Here's where it starts to get challenging. Only 1 in 10,000 discoveries are useful anomalies, and only 1 in 100,000 are worth mining. Based on those odds, it's safe to say that the Eagle Mine is truly an anomaly. So, once found, our team arrives pinpoints the exact location and drills into the earth to extract core samples. The core samples and further testing tell us that the rock has minerals, what kind and in what amounts. Based on this, we can begin the process of preparing to mine. And thanks to advanced technology, science and engineering, we are able to remove these minerals from the ground in a manner that is safe for our employees and protects the environment. Eagle Mine in Michigan's Upper Peninsula will produce approximately 360 million pounds of nickel and 295 million pounds of copper. That's roughly the same weight as the Empire State Building. In fact, now in production, Eagle Mine is the only primary nickel mine in the United States and produces 1.5% of the world's nickel. So how do we get all of this out from 1,000 feet below the surface? First, we make a tunnel underground that's one mile long, declining at a 13% grade and 18 feet in diameter. This tunnel serves as our main route for trucks, equipment, and miners to get safely in and around the mine. The mining process is done in three stages. First, holes are drilled and loaded with explosives. Second, the explosives are set off and the ore breaks apart. Third, the loosened ore is now mucked or scooped and put into special underground haul trucks. Each truck delivers roughly 100,000 pounds of ore to the surface. We mine from the bottom up, and once an area is mined, we fill it with a special mix of rock and concrete. This helps the ground stay nice and solid so we can continue to mine the other areas. Now, semi-trucks get loaded with the rock and drive over 60 miles to the Humboldt Mill using the same roads we use every day to go to school, work, and the store. When the trucks arrive at the Humboldt Mill, these basketball-sized door pieces are crushed. Not once, not twice, but three times, reducing them to marble size. Next, the ground-up ore heads to the ball mills, which contain three-inch or baseball-sized chrome balls that grind the ore down to the size of beach sand. At this point, water is added and both the nickel and copper are now a slushy, semi-liquid blend called slurry. Next, we use several stages of flotation, where we use finely tuned chemistry to separate the nickel and copper from all of the rest of the material. The secret ingredient? Air bubbles. After floating the nickel and copper through a series of flotation cells, we thicken the slurry and filter out most of the water. Finally, we have nickel and copper concentrates. All of this because of a needle in a haystack. The nickel and copper concentrates are loaded into train cars, covered and sent on their way. This is where the process ends at Eagle. But before the concentrates can be used in today's products, they must go through two more processes. 
smelting, and refining, ultimately ending up with 99.9% .9 pure nickel and copper. Unlike the old days, when mining ends, we will restore the surface back to its original natural condition. As you can see, mining is a pretty amazing story that starts in our own backyard and ends with many of the things we enjoy using in our daily lives.